Breaking news. A few moments ago, Earth was invaded by supernatural beings with outer space, with first contact made in the nation's capital. Our reporter Maverick is live in Wellington. What can you tell us, Maverick? Thank you. I am Maverick, reporting live from Lambton K. As you can see, there is panic and terror in the streets as New Zealanders have woken up to find aliens throughout our towns and cities. These space invaders keep, seem capable of destroying the country and the planet unless we give them what they want. The risk of harm is very real and... Maverick, are you there? We appear to have lost our signal. Now, in a bizarre exclusive, an alien has taken one of our reporters into the space vessel to broadcast their demands. Standing by is Bruno. What's happening there? Well, yes, it's very tense in here. What we can tell you is that these alien creatures smell like skibbly toilet and insoles. It looks like one of the aliens is about to talk for us through a special alien translation device. Oh, people of Earth, listen carefully. We are the superior beings from the planet Sigma from the galaxy of Skibidi. We demand from you humans these following things in no particular order. Number one, we want passion beer. Twenty dollars. And ownership of Curry to go. If you do not give us these things as soon as possible, we will destroy you with our order. You have three days. That is it. Well, there you have it. Are these demands reasonable? Is this the end of human race? Make your voice heard on Twitter using the hashtag OMGAliens. Currently, the government is preparing to make a statement, so we cross now to parliamentary reporter Freaky Fred. Well, things are very intense. Uh, these alien creatures, what the? Uh, crowds have gathered here today. Um, yeah, be afraid, people. You know, everything is going to hell. Yeah. Uh, the Prime Minister's here as well. Uh, he's definitely going to hell. Anyway, here he is to address the nation. Um, hello, Sigmas. I mean, people. Tēnā koutou katoa, people of New Zealand. This is your Prime Minister asking each one of you to remain calm. It is important that we do our best to make these space aliens feel... Welcome. We must display all the um, friendly qualities that the finest as New Zealanders. We will be holding a poor for you later today, and then I will join the alien leaders on a helicopter tour of our beautiful country. Our hope is that these beings will spare us from destruction and move on to Australia. If you come across one of these creatures, we recommend that you brave, smile, and quickly run away. In the meantime, go about your business as usual. That's all. Thanks, Prime Minister. Now where to from here? To help us answer this question, we've collected a panel of alien experts to discuss what you at home can do to get through this event. Can you hear me there? What should we all do? Well, I think we should be restocking our necessities at Pack and Save. That's very foolish of you, you know. Um, everyone should be afraid because we're all going to hell for what we've done, you know. Um, yeah, be afraid, people. You damn wet. That's not what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be calming these people down. You nincompoop. No one's making out of this alive, okay? Don't punch a grab Well, so much for the opinions of the experts. Are they right? Who can tell? I guess we'll find out soon enough. In the meantime, let's have a look at the mayhem happening up and down the country. Thanks, Rebecca. Let's have a look at what's happening out there. In Auckland, there's some uh, outrage and the aliens are trying to knock over the Sky Tower and use it for their space antenna for their ships. Keep away from the downtown area. In Wellington, the railway station has become an tra alien transit lounge where they are relaxing in preparation for killing us all. Meanwhile, confusion in Canterbury where the aliens have formed a very strange partnership with the region's cow community. And in Dunedin, creatures have been spotted rolling down the world's st steepest street. The aliens are said to be extremely dizzy and should not be approached. Well, I'm going to go hide in my basement. Back to you, Rebecca and Scarlett. 
finally, we interview someone who claims they have had a close encounter with creatures from outer space. Our reporter Freaky Freddy is with that person now. Who says he's been abducted by aliens before. Thank you for joining us today, Jen. This alien invasion must have stirred up a lot of bad memories for you. Uh, what are these creatures like? So they're ugly and stupid, and they t try to take over the Earth. Nice accent there, Jen. How has this experience affected you? They took over all the McDonald's, and now I only can stay at home. That sucks, Jen. Finally, as a person who has experienced the extraterrestrials, what do you think we should be doing? So we should kill the aliens. Well, thanks, Jen. For your time, not gonna mean much. But back to the studio. Thanks, Freaky Freddy. Well, I'm going to run home to my mummy. And I'm going to eat as many lollies as I can until I'm sick. All the aliens get me. Meanwhile, stay tuned for updates or follow our live stream to watch the end of humanity as it happens. Goodbye, everybody. May these terrifying and foul smelling aliens have mercy on us all. Kia kaha, and we'll see you tomorrow, if there is one.